All right, fam, so welcome back to Darren's African Experiences. The weather is so bad. I think the rain is coming. So, but still, I'm scheduled to shoot right now. If I don't do it now, there won't be another time. All right, so we've been watching our house, our three bedroom house. Wait, was I supposed to say anything fast? No, nothing. All right, the, the house behind me is the house we are documenting. Remember our previous video stated, <clears throat> The measurements of the house and the um, the house is 15.50 meters wide and 10.21 meters long right with its length so we are roofing this house today and I'm going to give you alternatives to how much it would cost you to roof this exact house eh? depending on what you prefer to use all right, so without wasting time, I'll start with the basics. If you have a question, don't hesitate to ask. Today, I'm trying to be seen as I speak. Someone said, I hear they are tired of seeing the paper. <laughs> so now you see me, right? I hope you're happy, huh? All right, let's work faster. All right, to roof this particular house, you're going to need 87 iron sheets. Uh, we are going to use, I'm going to give you alternatives from both Uganda Batsi and Roofings. So, Uganda, but I'm going to come back and give you specifics of that. But uh, from, uh, from Roofings, we are going to consider Super Echo. Super Echo, current prices, they range. Uh, these are, these are 30 gauges. Eh? I told you gauges are the thickness of the iron sheet. So 30 gauges in roofings right now cost between 47,500 47, shillings to 49,000 shillings. If you watch my previous video on the current prices of iron sheets in Uganda, you're going to come to come and find this information there. So I've taken 49,000 shillings, the maximum price multiplied it by 87, the number of iron sheets we need. And our total is going to be 4,263,000 thousand shillings that's for iron sheets alone now um now we cross over to uganda but uganda but the most commonly used iron sheet type of iron sheet is uh cover marks uh cover marks these are 30 gauges mm, the current price for 30 gauges in in uh, in uganda but ranges between 48,000 shillings to 55 thousand shillings and so you get 87 and multiply it by 50 five thousand shillings and you get four million seven hundred and eighty five thousand shillings now we're going to go to i'm going to give you alternatives between bulliti and eucalyptus but remember when you're doing your ceiling you have no choice but to use the bulliti so that's constant now you're going to need four by twos three by twos and six by twos you're going to need about 194 by twos and kuba in. All right, I've come under the shed. It's raining. The rain has started. And I want to do the video and get done with it. All right, so. Uh huh, where was I? Four by twos, you're going to need around 194 four by twos why because four by two the, the house ceiling is so big yeah? and remember you need to actually use four by twos for the ceiling so that's why we take a lot of them you i've given you a tour of the house i'll give you again the tour when the video is done you see it again for those who are just coming in but you're going to need a lot of four by twos actually they are the most purchased types of bulliti on site so you have to keep that in mind now, 4 by 2s they have different sizes. We have them in different feet. We have them in 12 feet, 10 feet, and 13 feet. Normally, the most commonly sold are 10 feet and 12 feet. Why? Because people are not harvesting trees that long these days. All right? A warm warm tea determines the length or the height of the what? Of the wood. So I'll give you the price. We'll consider the price of 10 feet since the market commonly sells that. 
and someone might convince you that they have 12 feet, you get out your tape measure and measure them. And when you're loading them, make sure they are of the same height. If they are not, then they are, they are robbing you. So, I'll give you the prices either way. 4 by 2 is 12 feet of 4 by 2, cost 7,000 shillings. 10 feet of 4 by 2, cost 5,000 shillings. And then 13 feet of 4 by 2, cost 9,000 shillings. So if we're taking the middle ground, which is 10 feet or 10 foot, it is, 10, sorry, it's 5,000 shillings. So you come back to your calculations and say 194 times 5,000, you're going to come up with 970,000 Ugandan shillings. Remember, because you're not looking in my paper like every day, you have to write somewhere. Yeah? Aha, uh -huh. you're going to need 3 by 2s. 3 by 2s are throw ons. Because all you again, that was 3 by 2s. They fall. Eh? Because this is a hipped roof. Hipped roof. That's the house we are doing calculations for. If you're going to do uh, an open, open, um, open gable kind of roofing, then your material reduces slightly. Open gable, I told you it's that house that has corners where you brick after roofing. You understand in the sides. That's an open gable kind of roofing. So, now we're back to our, our what? Our hip roof. Our hip roof is going to require 112 3 by 2s. All right? Now, you're going to require these 3 by 2s. Remember, not all 4 by 2s are going to go on the ceiling. Some of them are going to go on the roof. All right? Engalama uh, is the ceiling. So, 3 by 2s, current prices, uh, these are the ranges. They are not so different in sizes. All timber is in the same sizes. 12 feet, 10 feet, 13 feet now. Uh, 3 by 2s, 12 feet, cost 6,000 shillings. 10 feet or 10 foot costs 4,000 shillings. And then 13 feet costs 7,000 shillings. I told you we are taking 10 feet. So you get your 112 and multiply it by 4,000 shillings. And you're going to get 448. Thousand Ugandan shillings. All right, so you're going to need six by twos. Six by twos. Okay, before I go to six by twos, you're going to need pions. Pions, or one a hoop irons, was a meter pion. You've seen Bazteka movie when they are building, they hoop around the, the walls to give them extra strength. It's saying an attenuator. So it's the same thing. They get those pions, put them through the wall, and then Put them through those six by twos in the Zinuera Senge. The white people have a, a chemical, it's like a kind of cement. They apply on the floor of the beam, then they put the wood. But because I don't think we have it here like that, and also our type of roofing is different, so we use hoop irons for the extra strength. Or use a kubela on the roof and you edit a kunyumba. Wait our wait and get it out using hope irons. So basically you need two two rolls of hope irons. One was a meter pions. Two rolls. You I would advise you get the ones that are 13 kilograms because they are in kilograms. Yes, it's a roll, but it's in different kilograms because of the sizes. It's bigger. Some are wider, others are smaller. So you get the one for 13 kilograms. Its current price is 23,000 Ugandan shillings. So you multiply that by two and you get 46,000 shillings. Now let's go back to our team. But now you understand what it's supposed to do. All right. So uh, the six by twos, you don't need too many. You're going to need maybe 40, 42 at most for this house. At most you might go up to 45, but I doubt. Because you have inside and outside the walls. I've, uh, I've documented a, a process of roofing on the channel. You go to some of my first videos, you see a video that says roofing my dream house in Uganda or something like that. You see those six by two. Six by twos are big. Yeah? They are the widest and the thickest. They are almost as thick as four by threes. But remember, if you're buying six by twos, four by threes are not really so important on site. It are the cost I've put aside for miscellaneous. Eh? You might, if they say, okay, give us maybe 10, four by twos, maybe 15, then you can use some of that fund. Yeah? 
That's why I've put it there. But I doubt you need them. But just in case the roofers say they need them, buy them. Hello, Mr. Larry. All right, so six by twos, they are current price. Actually, six by twos cost the same amount as four by three. Now, let me give you the prices for six by twos. In 12 feet, six by twos are 11,000 shillings. In 10 feet, six by twos are 7,000 shillings. And in 13 feet, they are 14,000 shillings. Remember, we are taking 10 feet or 10 foot of measurements. Now, you get your 42 uh, six by twos and multiply them by seven thousand shillings. Chemani, only one hour to set them depending on location, because these are basically, you see, the quantity you're taking can be sold to you on wholesale basis. You understand? So you can even negotiate down to six thousand five hundred. By the way, I told you Uganda is best on negotiation. You must learn your way around Africa in order to benefit from it fully. I read somewhere today, someone said, how do you know the correct price of something in Africa? It is after you negotiate and you're walking away and they call you back. Then you know, <laughs> that's the price. So learn, learn not to just take what you're given. Learn to, you know, to ask questions, learn to negotiate. Because at the end of the day, construction, especially now we are building a house, to sleep in. There are no profits. You're not going to pay yourself rent. At the end of the day, it's a liability. It is, whether you like to believe it or not. All right? Now, um, <clears throat> where were we? So you get your, two, your 42 uh, six by twos and multiply them by 7,000 shillings. You're going to come up with 294,000 shillings. Okay, so we finished Buliti all bulleted that you require on site. Now, before we proceed to something else, let me give you a little bit of advice. Uh, bulleted like three by twos, when they sell them, they are given, they are, divi they are divided in half, but they are not completely divided at the end and at the beginning. When you take them on site, the guys are not going to chop through. They are simply going to cut off the part that was left to keep them conjoined. I think they keep, they keep them conjoined like that, so that they don't tear at the ends. Now, you're going to make sure when you're buying three by twos, eh, the people who divided them, because they use machines to divide them at the end, make sure they didn't leave big space because it costs you. Make sure you buy the ones where they left a little space at the end or at the beginning. Because you guys on site are not going to divide. They're simply going to cut off the part that was conjoined. And if you buy and they already divided any bullet or roofing timber, if it's divided, make sure at the end it's not breaking, it's not broken. Because even that broken piece is going to be cut off. They are not going to roof your house with broken timber or cracked timber at the edges. It always cracks, I think, because... Uh, all timber when it's drying because remember when they harvest it it's wet so when it starts to dry it starts to bend and it also starts to crack on on the side so people who are smart in this business they always there are some nails they put to join it together to keep it together all right so make sure you're buying timber that's not bent yeah? And also make sure you're buying timber that's not cracked on the sides. Are we together? So this is for you because at the end of the day you're buying 10 feet. When you're buying a nuance, you've bought 9 feet. Yet in actual sense you've paid for 10 feet. The, a person who would have needed 194 pieces is going to end up buying extra 10. Or buy even extra 20 to cover the margin that is being cut off by your guys inside. They can't do anything about it. So you who is buying, it's you. It's you who has to actually look out for these things to save costs, you know, and also to save time. Because when people are spending too much time cutting, 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 whose time are they wasting? Your time. Uh, before we proceed, remember, roofing is contract best. Kupatana is what we mean by contract. They do not pay people by the day. 
And remember, I always advise this. Every time you're going to roof, make sure, even if you don't have money, please save. And you do these things at once, the ceiling and the roofing. It will be cheaper. But if you can't do the roofing, then look for the people to do the ceiling. Trust me, you're going to almost pay double the money someone has paid to do both at once. It gives you, uh, it's easier for you to negotiate, all right? When you're doing both at once. Aha, uh -huh. <clears throat> where are we now? Is that enough advice for you? Do you need more? <laughs> All right, we finished. Now for the ceiling, Engalama. When you're doing your ceiling, you're going to need two things. You, three things, you're going to, we finished the timber, so we're not repeating that. You're going to need cement, and you're also going to need uh, expanded wire meshes of timber. Eh? There are different companies that do these now, uh, my best recommendation is Red Tiger. Why? Have you been to houses where someone does the ceiling and it's bending already? Because these people are going to pour, that, that mix they pour up there, that sand and cement mix that they pour up there, yeah? It weighs on these nets. What happens is if anything is too heavy and it's up, it's going to either start lagging, bending, or it's going to fall. Now, make sure, this is important, Make sure you're buying a net brand. Yeah? These are what we call expanded wire meshes. Make sure the brand you're buying, Kagumu. Nekano kano kasina kagumu nyokano. Kavlam. Owo kalava, you can see that this is hard. Hard. You understand? Over time, those cracks you're seeing in your ceiling, it's because the net is weak. There are so many things that will come afterwards. You won't see them after the job. You see them over time. You start seeing cracks in your ceiling. You start, see, you start seeing a lot of things. And there is nothing you can do about it. Yes, sir. Well, you understand? So at the end of the day, it is you to look out for yourself. So if you're buying these, um, the company so far that I would recommend is Red Tiger. Yeah, that niche popular Chivako, Red Tiger. It's red. It's a red banner. Very tiger. They are they actually produce some of the best wire meshes. It's not easy. Kakaluba. Which that means you're doing something because the ceiling is not something you're going to renovate. The reason we are not using plywood anymore, Simanya, those white people things, is because as Africans we are not used to overspending. We are not used to doing too many renovations. You want to build something and you're done with it. So you're going to need 11 uh, bundles. Bundle, like a bundle, yeah? So 11, not 11 pieces, 11 bundles. Each bundle, the most it will cost you is 45,000 shillings. The most it will cost you. But you can get it even less, 42, 43, 44. You can get. But me, I'm calculating using the maximum price, which is 45,000 shillings. So you get your 45,000 shillings, Multiply it by the 11 bundles and you're going to get 495,000 Ugandan shillings, all right? Okay, now, first of all, it's uh, option already. You can take your time. But but if you feel like you can wait. I've seen people put first of all, over after, over when, years later. So these are optional things. First of all, Especially if your, your roofing was done well, eh? the water is already. First of all, the accessories to make your house look more beautiful. They are not a necessity, they're just accessories. But either way, for this house, you'd need 19 first boards. Or you know, get pine, eh? get pine. Pine, they produce good ones, more pine, and they are long. So 19 are enough, and each FESA board will cost you uh, maybe 19,000 shillings, 18,000 shillings, at most 20,000 shillings if you're buying many. If you're buying few, Bajako will get a moment to have income in of that. But if you're buying many, Bajako will be which is 19,000 shillings, 18,000 shillings, Bajako will. 19 pieces, 7 years, you can't get a lot of money, so you can't get a lot of money. Anyway, going forward, uh-huh. Now, iron sheets when you're roofing, there are things we call valleys. 
and regions. For a house this big, they're inevitable. Because you cannot box roof this, a house this big, this big like a box. And you don't put um, solia. You in a solia kam kunyomba or zimbachi. So bulika solia kaina fall and in the sides of our taga valleys is a zileta mazi. You understand? So at the end of the day, think about this. You can have your valleys. Yeah? Your valleys, you can have them and depending on the type of roofing you're doing. But if you're going to do a hipped roof, you're definitely, definitely going to need uh, valleys and ridges. Oh, wakasana kako mieo kanzireo mkasana. Na vikeko ngo omontu. Olavi omontu, ako mieo. Alright, so where are we? We were saying you need valleys and ridges, alright? So now, for, for valleys, remember valleys are the ones that bring water down, eh? Oba migogo, sina migogo, and migogo, those are gutters. Anyway, so you're going to need about eight valleys eh, up there. Then you're going to need ridges, ridges, jemigongo, eh? Those ones you're going to need many. You might need maximumly 30, but even 28, they are there. Now, different companies sell them differently. For, but they are not so different in prices. Remember, we are buying Super Echo. All I'm saying is for valleys in roofings, budget for 28,000 shillings. The budget core. Then for valleys in Uganda, Bati budget for 30,000 shillings. Then ridges in roofings, budget for 30,000 shillings each. Same amount for Uganda Bat. So remember we said you need 8 valleys and then you need 30 ridges. So you get your 30 ridges and multiply by 30,000, you get 900,000 shillings. Then you get your 8 valleys multiplied by 28,000 shillings, you get 224,000 shillings. Now for Uganda Bati, you get your 30 by 30, then 30 by 8. And then you're also going to come back with similar money. Kakati, it very. Did I talk about cement? You're going to need about uh, 12 bags to 13 bags of cement. Kubango ina if o ina bu buna bu veranda chi. Bona bona o ina bu yuamuchi engalama. because this house has them back and forth. Eh? So 13 bags of cement is good enough. Right now, for those bags of cement, no one is going to give you on wholesale price. They'll give you retail, which is 33,000 shillings for Tororo, even Simba, same price. And if you are nice and you've been buying from these same people, they will even reduce and give you at 32. Learn this. Loyalty can take you a long way. Every time you're going into business, even if you're buying things on wholesale, learn to find balance in loyalty. Be loyal to a supplier. These people will be in position to negotiate with you much of the customer Even you, you run business, you know. When your client comes, it's so called Jagulet. For every stage, you buy from different people, different people. And you expect to negotiate right. And they'll be, and you, you know how Ugandans are, they run businesses as if. They don't want money <laughs> so at the end of the day you have to learn a bit of loyalty it, not just in construction in any kind of business you're running you have to learn to be loyal to certain people when you find a supplier who is good and they have what you need learn to consistently buy from them on your bad days they will help you understand? But you find yourself being on a complete standstill because you have no money. Material is there. But you understand? So learn to find ground and create relationships with people. Even these truck people, learn to create these friendships. I'm such a jam mukubira. I'm gamba gamba. Oh, your madam, your madam mukambika so came to alido. Even if they have ten orders, but just so kagui. Oh, your mukwanu kanga manyo kumpa yoka sente. Learn to tip. 
you people tipping is not just for restaurants. Create in Uganda, that's how you create relationships with people. Learn to be generous. You look at it as an expense in, to your benefit. When someone you're dealing with is happy, even when you're building on site, you have people building for you. Even there are days where they build over eight bags of cement. Over tipping, they get motivated. Over you understand? Every time someone does something good, learn to appreciate them, not just with words. You know, learn to be generous. It takes you a long way. Me, I have contacts, too many contacts. Not because I give them the most business, no, but because of how I relate with them. You understand? Learn to be selfless, learn to be generous, learn to be, you know, friendly in a good way you know anyway a youtube video and see those who are going to roof with eucalyptus calitoons calitoons are limo sizes era are different prices see many get it jengenda chikolam na yenze mumenye nemba wa sub totos bidi ogenda kwe chage miti emi tono jigwe then you're gonna quit again. Meet him in any jukole base, zezo jukolo busolia. Watch together. All these ones cost different money. At the end of the day, you have to. Oba kwenye chukola antia. Nyesi nchimenye mu went. The total, the complete total of eucalyptus that you would need to roof this house are going to be almost a hundred and seventy. Hmm. Kati eucalyptus so yonga semu no no gwe muino kuyimirira yimirira konga bakubachi ceiling. Oyo na ye badamu ne bamukoze sa. Don't allow wastage. Kubaba na bajiteka wo mu buwanvu gate bajimenye mu ne bayimirira ko okube ngala meyo kuba ceiling ezo. Olumalanga bajijamu. By the way, one of the most tiresome parts of roofing is the ceiling. Okuba katimba kwa gulu kubo butiobo Oipamunga chine chukuba chuku Omenye semenye sewe na Era, if you have people And you're trying to work them Mubawe ku energy drinks vanagi Ka energy drink ka mubwe kati There are some jobs There are some jobs on site Mwana gwenga jimenya Believe it or not Omanyawa na baba saba sente Ni muga ambaba na baseda Na ye kubaba gukuwa ugukoli because what I'm talking about, I've done. I've done all these things. I chose Chavi Kola. Jacu Damun be calling Amazoku Zimba Kanyama, but for now, Banamwe, there are some jobs that are hectic. Not because uh, she's a woman, but, she, but I know guys who finish yeah, putting up that ceiling wood and they get sick for like a week. For real. Strong guys. Anyway, at the end of the day, you people, you have to learn to be human beings first. Because, yes, you're trying to save money to build, but at the end of the day, you want to work people well enough to do for you other jobs. Or what to recommend. Or have you met people who call workers? Nagama is a city one. Nenga walisha ina na chakola. Nagama wana a city one di biza wana genze gulu. I have a job there. It's because of how you treat these people. Or what should I get? These people don't want much. They want so little, but you, because you are into your own pocket, eh? yes, we are, we are all looking for money, but you must be a human being first. So when you're working people for certain jobs, please, eh? let's not waste, I've wasted too much time talking about this. Anyway, so I've divided 87 pieces of eucalyptus. I've put them at 5,000 shillings, all right? And then uh, I've put the 75 at 8,000 shillings. Why? Because there is eucalyptus poles that cost up to 23,000 shillings. Now, I go guba guba go guga no kola masanyaze. Go guba mune ne nyo. That's why I've stopped at 8,000 shillings. Now, gwa na salawo. Ochiwulida, you're going to have 600,000 shillings plus 400,000 shillings. That's what? 1 point what? 1 million and 35,000 shillings for just. Eucalyptus. Look at your friends who are using Buliti, how much they are spending. 
But even you, you are not escaping the ceiling bullet. Whether you like it or not, you still have to buy bullet for the ceiling. You can't use eucalyptus poles. Omsaja. Omsaja to amsereke na nagamba. Kale sing. Tatu sabo la kose sa. Kali tun soyo kola. Kumuku wako katimba. Techi soboka. We looked at the guy. Nevi gamo nevi tu guako. Because these trees are circled and they are not even. Kati wane ceiling ingoringa ina humps. My phone is ringing. I swear to God, eh? I to get um, nails. So nails, maximum. Let me first pick my phone. I get off All right, let's go to roofing nails. You're going to need one and a half inches. Actually, you're going to need every type of nail. Every type of nail, you know, you're going to need it. You're going to need the two inches, you're going to need the one and a half, you're going to require the katiko, you're going to require three inches, four inches, five inches, six inches, kati when we wali feeling. Roofing, just buy a kabag. Gula buguzi kasao. Na ee, uobate ya gala kugula kasao, era era cheche mo. Chuhulila. Ela, uobate ya gala kasao kaja kubaye bit cheaper. Na ee mnange katiba, we mwagala nye mtubi kilo. So you're going to require 30 kilograms of roofing nails. You're going to buy katiko. Katikilo ya katiko. They will charge you like 6,500. 6,500. Depending on which company is producing them. Because there are different companies that are producing them. Don't interfere in my video. Jinjuku what you call it. Jangu. Bakulaveko. <laughs> Kati, those who are selling a kilogram at 7,000, they are too expensive. Toso wa kujangu ngula kukira, satu nesikujira mbitano. Wanda mwela nitu negotiate. At 6,000, they don't want to ask for 6,000, sicho? Hey. Banda mwe, when I give you prices, I give you maximum prices. Kati chute geza nti gwe ogenda kunegotiate inga. Kati umano no chawa dangama mbukakaga. Kati haba na bali yeri kampala. Ani ya geno kuwa kilo ya, ya katiko kukakage kampala. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Let's document this. I've never been in front of the camera this long. Especially when I'm talking to you people. So somehow I am in my feelings. Anyway, so you need 30 kilograms of katiko. You need 25. <laughs> you need 25 kilograms of one and a half inches. Then you need to actually we have you need 25 kilograms. You need 25 kilograms of two inches, you need 25 kilograms. Kati one and a half way, Jewakoze so kubaka katimba. Kalava kalia kengala mai. They use one and a half. Eh by no kakubanga tevale se o katuli kona. Be there and monitor that. By the way, there is something they create. Oliwa when someone pours the concrete in, in your Expanded wire mesh. No la banga yewe se. Baina chintu chewa kola. Chibelanga bako basala oluva o like this. Neba tuza ye no muti. Nga gutu lila dela kutaka. Neba chipushi nga. Ne chinyuele na mupositioni. So go through the house. Eh? Make sure you and whoever you call your engineer on site. Go through the house after that and look. No tunulia katundu kukatundu. Ochitegeira. And then when you notice anything that's lagging, lagging is like this. But eh? it's straightening up. It's lagging. But you can't for extra support. When the whole thing is done, when you're going to the next phase, then you're going to the position. Aha, John, almost 1M, Jimalao 1M. Actually, this is another trick. If you're roofing, because this is a big house, man, you try your you want your house to look nice. What you need a new man, all of them is Somali. Tekuli, Nenga Kwejiri. Actually, there are those nice roofing nails, a jitali cut. Sijava Bay, a Joja Bay, Jija. Black. Remember, our article comes when it's silver. 
Kati muna ngo so wala gula yoka plus corn akakakebe ka like one liter or two liters of plus corn. Same color as your iron sheets. Buno bu tuwe buno. They have to they have to mix but they can super gloss. Ogula super gloss. Eh, you buy super gloss. No take a mo thina wo bulunji mutono. Actually te wetter than a take a mchin chon namwana. Kalekere yo. They get your your roofing nails and dip them, eh? Obu tue, obu kofida. They dip them there, eh? So that they look like the iron sheets that I have a roofing. Your iron sheets will not look weird. They will look nice. You'll be there in the village or in your town. Everyone is wondering, where did you buy these nails? It's a trick you should pay me for months. These are good tricks. Then, leba. Kati leba, no wali feeling. Leba, if you're roofing with eucalyptus, including the ceiling, no one should charge you more than 1.5. Nobody for this particular house. Uh, with that money, they can co you can get people to contract and do the job. Even you can negotiate up to 1.4, 1.3. Wow. So make sure the people you're contracting are not charging you more than 1.5. If you're roofing with eucalyptus, then if you're roofing with bulliti, 2 million. Or Orensonga. But make sure no one is charging you more than 2M to roof for you this house, including the ceiling. Only Waba could be a new color to Valley, maybe 2.2. Now, I tell you, Kira, what you over could be that way when the Bagambins and Jacob Valley Samba Susie or Mamba transporting or chasing guns. Now, if Toso Cacueso, Cayo, Mutomgama, Omni Mugugu, no. Njagala kuwa contract. Ninovu kadevu video gukola. Kusereka nichi. Nesiri. Bukadevu video mtu wa gukola bulunji. Ataja na kwe lisa ye transporting. Tostoso kakwe soka mtu mbu simanya njakuli lisa. No. First listen to what they have to say. Then what they offer. You counter. You give them a counter offer. Ushegeira. Wamuga moja kubali isango gula kilo zaka unga zo kumi ngo ziteka. Nebi janja kilo tanu ngo viteka ngo teka we nkuma chafari gawa kusaiti ngawa kule choto. Chuteke na ngawa kela kusako vijanja alo vya hawa. One of my builders is laughing. He's like, madam, you're too hard. But for real, man, at the end of the day, you're looking to save money. Because this is an, this is an investment for your own benefit. But it's not, it's a liability because it's not bringing in money for you. Never gambia da. Ogenda kweva kato gina kwesa sula rent. In fact, I know people who have been paying school fees eh, and their kids graduated. Baga manga, awana weva chwala kwa sente. Pananga, pananga, kachawana wama lukusoma sente vazidaba. Oinzo gamba mkatika nse vinge sente zenandi kwa seza anga rent. Mka mange toso gola. You can't. It has a nature So at the end of the day, don't be there saying Bogenda Kwesa Sula rent. It's not a liability. To be relevant to a cool. So try to save as much money as you can. Alright? Tuliwa. Tuliwa tuliwa tuliwa. Kakati, take away mitwala tanu. Put aside eh, five hundred thousand shillings to cover for transportation. Siba Gambia Bay Boso, Wetaga Boso Zwaba. I want to buy no sala bullet site like two bosses. A bosso with a blade, it's 22,000 shillings, right? So two, 22 times uh, two, that's 44. You need 44,000 shillings at side. Zibere onga za bosses, which are going to boss onga because ziba zikola. And you buy the at least an extra blade, they be all. All right? Kakati, the 500,000 shillings is going to be enough for your transportation. Simanya transporting your workers in case you're not going in case they're not transporting themselves, uh, feeding them. Don't forget when you contract people for job to our centers or now. If they're if they're working for two M, Baweke China na Oba Kakad de Kali. Echine nyo baweka mwa vid. Ochulida na yoba wakulu naku or luso kanga bamazo kola. Olunaku rebasoko kujavere tane bakola. 
Then we baba ba nyuka because on the first day baba ina bakoze gebos. Omani gebos ezo. Bazita bacha ine. Ha, anang. Omaba we tabu sodium luganda. Baba, we were so kerake, we were mukaga bidi, then the Vatan Coco of Solio. The Babu Wanika Kati, we want you can go Wakuchi who sent. Don't do not steal from people who are working for you. And I'm way. Why will they call him more? Always don't don't start hiring people on the China centers are labor. Watch the Yiribe Zamatiri. Neto Yiriba centers are labor people. Do Yiriba centers are labor. Then, you Anyway, <coughs> what was Always give them half of the money at the beginning of the job, and then make sure at the end of the job you have the rest of the money. Don't take days off, otherwise, by the way, when you're roofing and it rains, the day ends there. Tell him one alinya kubatinga bisi. Teddy. And if it rains three days in a row, you must have security on ground for iron sheet sezo. And now on yuka, the water could be echo genda na yo. Toga mukandi viki dem chivira simanya mchisiko ano simanya vichi badja kutu alama baati oyo seminti na na badja kumutu alama ba vuli da. So oh ah chene chidala. If you if you see that it's just drizzling, mugula yoku matundu vali kusaiti. Basa walo kugabi kama baati yago. Waguru nge. Kuba sinji nji if it's just drizzling. Habana ba yu wayochi. It happened to me one time. Eh? We ended up putting. Yeah? Waguru yona yona yacheka kama matundu vali. And then the drizzles ended. Netujako netuwe yonge lukola. Chuhulida. Now these are people who wanted money. <laughs> At the end of the day, how you treat people is how they treat you. There are so many hacks in construction. Construction is an evolving industry. Every day we learn new things. New things are coming by the day. Kakati, Chulida, Era and I try, Wabana said, can make sure to know it. Get a home weather forecast. All I went to a in a weekend, Kuba vegetables, Octonia, one or in Atonia D. Togenda kuseleka kuselesi enkube kukubelelo olemekola. Otekemu transport ya wana baje. Awana bagina kufune chuchuba wakati yao bakuduke kunga watu tene deposit. Agambe madam tukasoke tukubeli we shall come back. Anyway. I don't know man. I'm using a lot of Luganda lately. Is it because so many people are complaining that I use too much English? Do you want me to be in front of the camera more often? Comment and tell me. Comment. Let me give you the totals. Ah, miscellaneous. Every go put seven hundred thousand shillings aside. Nabagamba ne wote kwa wapo kadebo bili aside. Centers is all. Toi na guogenda zite de sa centers ziwa mo sawoyo. At the end of the day, if the money is not used, it's good for you. If it's used, hey, ngatu kole bidala. Shake it. But at the end of that, put a, put seven hundred thili. Put seven hundred thousand shillings on the side for miscellaneous. Or use Oxanga Bulliti, or Rawa Guzebu, or Vanagam by Yonga Yokota. Or use Oxanga, or Chikatiao, Nakatim, but Omana, eh, it happened. One time Naita Mukatim, Banganim sitting in Engo, Omana, so Lokaita Muna Guana Yoke. By the way, be careful. Catawa in Agula Kalala, Tosawa Gamma Mana, Chani Gabiun, and Tatagula Katim Bakangi. Please. Yeah, there are so many things that can go wrong. On roofing is the most scary part of construction. It's not even the most expensive, by the way. But it's the most scary. It is. Remember, iron sheets to all on the super echo, galimu different colors. By a brick red, they have charcoal, they have what? Then cover max. You can get smooth. Mukava, sorry, mo super echo but over rough. Even if we never even knew the video, this again I will damn to my soul with I think this this video has had me over how I'm too free, too happy over to what I don't know. But I I hope you've gotten the information, Banan. Let me give you the total. So, <clears throat> if you're roofing with super echo and bulleti, this is your total. Ngagogenda kusere sa super echo. Ngat, okosana bolit. 
Your total is going to be 12 million 511,000 Ugandan shillings. Then, if you are roofing using Super Echo Iron Shoes, remember Super Echo is produced by Roofing's company. So if you're roofing with Super Echo and Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus is your Eucalyptus. Baganda right now, your total is going to be eleven million five hundred and ninety-five thousand Ugandan shillings. Oh, kadi kumi na kamu we mtu alatano mu enda mu kumi Then if you're roofing with Uganda Bati and Buliti, Uganda Bati swalonza your cover max. So if you're roofing with cover max and Buliti, your car your total is going to be thirteen million and forty-nine thousand shillings. Oh, kadi kumi na absa tu mu mtu alenda mu kenda. If you're roofing with Uganda Bati and Eucalyptus, if you're roofing with Uganda Bati in this sense, uh, cover max, eh? and then you're using Eucalyptus, Kalitoons, your total is going to be 12 million 133,000 Ugandan shillings. Behavior. Thanks for watching. Doreen's African Experiences. Mbagalanyo. Um, that's like, I love you. By the way, mulawo vulango na mwe. Mulawo vulango. If you like what I do and you've benefited, even if you've not done this construction thing yet, na yenga chiba mupulani, subscribe. You never know. Nyizo kubula kono. Atusha damu kulava chano ya ange, ateno gama mwale ono ya lagawa. Subscribe, oteke koka notification. Wale wele ngo lava videos ange. Olawe, one time oja kulava natade video kusanyu sanga. Atecho ya gali da dala. Mubuddo wowe nyini Ogambe banangi Etukide mubudde So subscribe uh, And share Watch the ads Nange wansa sule kusente wanae Wintu wino sivi alaisi Kale kambate Thank you